Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to do a little bit of stuff inside because the video I was going to film, um, I can't because living in England it's raining as usual. So today we're inside the office and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, 3D printing and rapid prototyping. Now a rapid prototype is something that you can take from design to actual production very very quickly and like 3D printing for example does that quite quickly. You can go from a drawing of a part to an actual part within like three or four hours whereas if this part was going to be machined it would then have to take two or three days maybe even a week. So rapid prototyping is used quite a lot in engineering because it is like a quick way to get parts prototyped hence the name. The thing with rapid prototyping is like I said you can go from a drawing to a part very quickly. Now this is the third generation of this part and this part will be used in an upcoming video to make something on the car a little bit better. Um, if you look at like this is the first generation of the part and this is the second and that's the third. On the first one there's no chamfers or any of the corners or any of the actual on the actual turret itself. On the second one I added the chamfers and made the actual wall thickness a little bit thicker so it's a little bit more stronger for the application that's going to be used in. And on the third and final one, I put a massive fillet on the side for a bit more strength. Because if you look, see how there's a more plastic there to hold what's going to go through that hole. As well, what I've used is some M6 rip nuts. I'll explain what they are in another video and what they what they rolls are for. And then some M6 bolts. Now, as I said, this part will be used later on in another video. I'll link that in the description and put a little annotation on the side so in the future you can just click on that to see where it goes. But because it's a rapid prototype and it's made of plastic, it's been 3D printed, um, it's it's not as expensive as a part so I think it's cost me like four pence to produce. So if it's wrong I can just change the design as such. Like I was printing another one off last night in grey and that's a slightly stronger POA. All of these are in POA. They should be an ABS, but my printer can't really handle that at the moment. Um, so once it's on the car, I'll do another video, show you what it is. But generally speaking, a rapid prototype is from the actual drawing itself, which took 15 minutes, 20 minutes on SolidWorks, to then an actual physical part from a 3D printer. Now, with the way 3D printing is going at the moment, you can use uh, various materials. You can use like POA, which is, for instance, this. It's, it's probably the easiest one to print with. I, I found it the easiest. Um, you can have nylon. You can have. Um, I think they do glass fibre written full stuff now. I'm not sure about that one actually. I'm going to include a time lapse of this being printed in the video, so you can see roughly like how the layers are formed, that sort of stuff. Um, I think the time lapse is about 20 seconds, and that equates to just shy of two hours. So in two hours, from from say you take this. This drawing takes 15 minutes of solid work to design and get the actual um, specs in there from the from the part that you need. So say half an hour, 45 minutes, and then two hours printing. So you, within, within under three hours, you can have a prototype part which never existed three hours previous to that. So like rapid prototyping is good for the industry, good for working on cars, because say if you need something pretty quick, instead of sending the drawings from a machine shop and then waiting a couple of weeks to then find out that they've got the whole drop centre, you can have a printer indoors and you can print your own stuff almost immediately. And now as you can see that's Mark 1, that's Mark 2, that's Mark 3 and this is Mark 4. This hasn't actually gone entirely to plan because as you can see on the actual print itself it's it's not adhered to the actual structure points itself so I'll probably have to print that again. But all the same material, they're all POA, they're just different colours. Um, so obviously Mark 3, Mark 2, Mark 1 still. The M6 bolts with the M6 rib nuts. And then when this is installed, I'll uh, make a video of installing it and showing you what it's for. Uh, hopefully it works. If you don't, then obviously back to the drawing board. But um, other than that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, like it. If you didn't enjoy it, dislike it. Um, please subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.